Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, we are looking ahead to more rain for tonight and even some showers for your morning commute. So be ready for that. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get the kids to school, get yourself to work. The good news is it's going to clear for Friday afternoon and a nice weekend is in store. We are due a weekend where we don't have to deal with any rain. Fox Radar 3D is showing plenty of uh, rain and cloud cover. Uh, most of the rain luckily has been fairly light over the last few hours and so not causing any big problems, but there's certainly a potential toward tomorrow morning. We could see some localized flooding uh, really just about anywhere in our area, but the farther west you live, the better your chance of uh, getting some flooding. Heavy downpours north of Spartanburg. The rain has just become a steady light rain for Easley, Greenville, over toward Clemson and Anderson, Salem getting some moderate rain there, and some of the heavier rain in western North Carolina falling from Marion to Rutherfordton and Forest City, and it's becoming a little lighter for Asheville and Hendersonville. You've seen your share, so it's good you're getting a break. Uh, we've seen over two inches, even three plus inches in some spots uh, in the mountains. And unfortunately, we're still seeing that moisture feed toward the northeast. So we'll get a little bit more in the mountains and continue to see that often on rain in the upstate. But the heaviest activity has been generally south of us. Now tonight, temperatures will be in the mid 50s, but will actually be rising a bit as we go into the late night hours. We'll be at near 60 by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, but 50s for most of the night in the mountains, upper 40s expected overnight, but then it's going to continue to warm up before that cold front sweeps through a flood watch. This is where we'll have the best chance of some uh, localized flooding where we've had the most rain already. So it's kind of saturated and we get this extra rain on top of it creates a lot of runoff. Uh, so there could be some problems so far. Uh, nothing major reported. We'll be watching that for you as we get closer to the morning commute tomorrow. And then as we take a look at tomorrow's temperatures, 50s to around 60, that's what you're going to get in the morning. By the afternoon, temps will start to fall. And then by this weekend, it'll be a good bit cooler, but at least the rain should be done by around lunchtime on Friday. And we'll be looking at a dry Friday night into Saturday. So here's a look at future cast. Notice overnight we may have a few pockets of heavy rain, otherwise mostly light rain. And then some heavier rain will develop at times south of 85. That's 9 a.m. So still socked in with rainfall. But by lunchtime, 1 o'clock, we'll just have a couple showers to the south. And then we'll be dry by 4, and that will spell the drying trend, the clearer weather expected as we get into the weekend. But you might get a few snowflakes right up along the Tennessee line as we get toward late Friday night and early Saturday morning. But otherwise, just breezy conditions taking over across the area. Rain totals, they're going to be big. We're going to be looking at about over three inches for parts of the western mountains, around two inches for Greenville, so a healthy dose of rain for our area, and a little over an inch in Spartanburg. As we take a look at the weekend, I mentioned it's going to clear out. Out. We were watching a system that's going to be moving along the coast, but right now it looks like most of the rain is going to be kept to the south, so shouldn't have any issues getting outside for Saturday and Sunday other than it just being a little chilly. We'll be in the low 40s on Saturday, 40s Sunday as well, and then warming up slowly into next week, finally bringing those 50s back uh, by Wednesday and Thursday in the upstate. Clear weekend, just cool. We'll have lows back down in the 20s by Sunday morning. But then look at that by Tuesday and Wednesday, mid 50s for highs and some sunshine. Now time for your riding forecast. It's sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. If you'll be on the roadways this weekend, good news. It should start to dry out a good bit. We've had quite a bit of rain, but give it a little time on, fr on Friday night into Saturday, and I think those roads are going to be looking a lot better. 50s on Saturday, 40s on Sunday, and in the mountains, you will want to uh, take advantage of some nicer weather. It's just going to be chilly. Bundle up if you're getting on the roads. And of